Welcome back to the Winning Moves. I am sure by now you should have picked up a chess set and started trying to play the game of chess. In our first episode, we saw how to arrange the board and we also saw the movement of the pieces. It's very simple. Anybody can play chess. To encourage you, let me tell you, way back in 1995-96, Anand played Kasparov at Manhattan, New York. I had gone as a journalist to cover this event. When I was there, one day, an old grandmother came to the chess club, Manhattan Chess Club. She was a Jewish lady, she was 75 years old. And she came to the club and said, uh, who teaches chess? And one guy who was there said, is it for your grandson? The lady got a little annoyed and what started walking away. I called her and she came and within an hour, I taught her how to play chess. And I stayed back in US for 100 days and I was continued to teach her. By the time I left US, this 75 year old Jewish woman learned to play the game. If a person at 75 can learn chess, how much more you can make that winning move learning to play chess. Learning chess is fun. It's real fun when you start moving the pieces, then only you begin to understand. You start using your brains. And I, I see the thrill and the joy when people start to play the game of chess. We, we saw how the board is arranged. We also saw how each member of the chess team moves. Now watch carefully. There is also something written on the side of the board. Can you see here A? Now this is called as the A file. This square is called as A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, A6, A7 and A8. Always the white's left hand corner is the start. The white side's left hand corner is the A1. Then comes the B1, C1, D1. E1, F1, G1 and H1. Similarly, second rank, third rank, B2, B4, B5, B6, B7, B8, so on till H8. So the each member of a chess board is named. It's got a square name. The square is called as E4. This is F6, G7, H8. We shall see more of the notation in, in our future episodes. Now we need to know that there is a name for each square. Fine. Last time, we were saying that chess is a battle between two armies. Two armies are fighting and the king is the game. The person who, who captures the king wins the game. But it's not so simple. Chess is a gentleman game. You cannot go and cut the, cut the king. All right, what do I say? Yes, you just watch, watch this. If a person plays the pawn here, we saw the pawn can go two steps in the beginning and the opponent comes here. Now watch this. If this bishop comes here, bishop moves diagonally, comes here. Now this bishop can also come here. Now look, the queen goes like a bishop and like a rook. Now watch, is, what is this queen doing? It's coming all the way here. He's up to something. He's going to cut something. Watch here. And in case this knight, you see knight can jump one, two and three. One, two and three. See, it can come here. Now the queen can go diagonally. We've seen that. Look here. It comes here cuts this pawn and when it cuts this pawn it should say check what is that when you are going to cut the king you have to say check that is the next move I am going to cut your king 
Now you simply don't cut in case if black plays like this, it's an illegal move. You say sorry, you don't cut the king, you say sorry, you made the wrong move, take it back and answer the check. Now, if somebody gives you a check, you can do three things. Little boy, let me ask you a question. If somebody, if daddy comes to hit you, what do you do? You do three things. If it's a little boy who's trying to hit you, you will hit him back. But if it's daddy trying to hit you, what you will do? You will cover. You will try for a cover. You will go behind your mom and say, Mommy, Mommy, and he get behind your mom. It's covering. Or the third thing you do, you do something mischief and daddy comes around, you open the door and run away. So if, you can do three things. You can cut. If a fellow who is... Uh, who is giving you an attack is a smaller boy, what you'll do, just give him one slap and say, you go. So it's cutting. The second thing you do is cover. The third thing you can do is move away. Let's see more of this in games. Watch here. Now this queen is going to cut the king. It's almost near, it's going to cut the king. What can black do? You might ask me, why don't I cut the, cut the queen like this? But watch, alas, there's a bishop here. He will come and cut the king. So you cannot get into a check. You cannot go and say, no, 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 it's okay. You cannot get into a check. You cannot go to a place where you'll be cut. So king, can the king run away? Watch it. Can it come here? No. It, it cannot go here. It cannot go. Queen will cut anywhere else. So is the game over? Not really. Watch here. There is a knight. One, two, and three. This knight can come and cut. And now, so the check is gone. So if somebody gives you a check, you should answer it. Look again. If this bishop comes and cuts the knight diagonally and gives a check, what can you do? The first thing you will try to do is to cut the, cut the piece that gives you a check. The king will happily walk and cut this bishop. So, so the first thing you need to learn what is a check? A check is something when your king is under attack. When you're going to cut the opponent king, you say check. And when your opponent gives you a check, the first thing you try to do is try and see if you can cut your opponent piece. Look at the same position one more time. We saw this position like this. The pawn was here, the queen was here, and the bishop was here. We said, if you cut the pawn, the knight will come and cut the queen. Now what happens if the queen comes like a rook and cuts this pawn and say, check? Why do you say check? I'm going to cut the king. So you have to say check. He cannot make any other move except responding to a check. Can you cut this queen? The bishop cannot cut the queen, the knight can cut the queen, no piece can cut the queen. So what do you do now? The second thing that you can do when somebody gives you a check is cover. How do you cover here? Look, this bishop can get back and stay in front of the king and cover the check. That's one way of covering. And this queen also can come, it moves diagonally one step and protects its king. Everybody, every piece will try to save the king. The king is very, very important in the game of chess. You live or die for the king. You cannot let your king die. So every member will strive to protect it. You either try to cut the enemy piece that gives you a check or you come in between sometime sacrificing yourself for the sake of the king. Great. Now look at this position. There is also a third method of getting out of check. When I cut this pawn and give a check, initially we saw you can cut. Second method is covering. And in case this bishop and the queen is not here, what will the black king do? You can simply move out of the line and get away. Cut 
cover move away it can go here or it can go here so there are three ways to get out of check so every time your opponent gives you a check look can i cut the piece that gives you a check can i cover the piece my king from getting cut and the third thing you will try to do is just get out of check so these two armies are fighting a king along with 15 other pieces so you go around try and see if you can cut all the pieces but your objective is simple the object of the chess game is to go and capture the king if you uh, cannot get the king in a game of chess then how does a game end let's see that before we see how a game ends let's see a little bit more of checking there is a rook there how will you give a check to the king look here the rook moves horizontally and vertically it can come here and give a check great if the king moves here you can give a check again it moves here you can come and give a check moves here you can give a check this is a way of checking you're going to say i'm going to cut your king great when the king was here the rook can also go all the way down and say a check so you understand how you can say a check now let's look when the if there's a rook here and if there's a bishop there how white can give a check if white rook can come and give a check here what will you do Your opponent is giving a check you should not get afraid immediately slow down assess the situation can i cut my opponent piece yes there is a bishop can come straight and cut the bishop great say if the bishop is not there and if it's here and if i come and give a check here what will you do now simply cover and if the bishop is not there you will move your king great a rook can give a check a queen can give a check look here how can a queen give a check a queen can give a check a check it can give a check here it can give a check here if there is a pawn how can the queen give a check see it can come here like a rook and attack like a bishop and give a check if there is a pawn here can he give a check now watch carefully can he give a check see you should use generally chess players are good in geometry look at that can queen can go straight down make a triangle there give a check straight there chess develops mathematical ability this is a paper research done in us and the senate the board of senate had passed an order saying chess definitely develops their learning pattern especially mathematics and decision making skills and so they have made every chess is mandatory in us so many even in russia every school has got chess and i'm sure even in india shortly it'll come that every child will learn to play this royal game of chess So you see how a queen can give a check, our rook can give a check, a bishop can give a check. Watch here, a bishop can give a check. Even a pawn can go up. If the pawn is here, it can go up and give a check. Even a pawn can give a check. A knight can give a check. Only thing that cannot give a check is the king. A king cannot go near another king and give a check because in the process the king will get cut so you only piece that cannot give a check is the king now look at this position the rook is under attack so this rook goes up and cuts this rook what can black do he can use his rook to cut this rook great nice position now white thinks i am going to give a check to the black king he goes all the way here from from here 
go all the way straight and give a check. Now what do you think black can do? Now black can do this from here it can go straight back and cut the rook and remove the check and the game will continue. So here the bishop has cut the rook. Now watch again if there's no bishop there what do you think black can do? If the bishop is here instead of there if it's the bishop is here what do you think the black can do? Black can do two things. It can either get back and stop the check. If he cuts the rook with this rook, he will cut it back. Or move the bishop here and stop the check. This is the second method of getting out of check. First method was cut, second method is cover. Now watch carefully, this rook is also not there. The pawn is here. What do you think black can do? He can straight, he cannot move anywhere in this direction. There is no piece to cut the rook. There is no piece to cover. Don't say the pawn will go here and cover it. A pawn cannot go back. So the only thing he can do is move his king out. He got out of check. In case this pawn is opened, what do you think black can do? He will come up. If this pawn is open, he will get out of the check. But in case this pawn is also here. Now watch this position. White has given a check. There are no pieces. Don't say this pawn. Pawn will not go backwards. Watch that. So there is no piece to cut. Neither do you have any piece to cover the king. The only thing you can try and do is we should try to move away. It cannot go here. It cannot go here. It cannot go here. If he tries to go here, the rook will cut. If you go here, the rook will cut. If you get such a position where there is a check and your opponent cannot cut, cannot cover and cannot move away, then we say the game is over. This is called as checkmate. The viewers, playing chess is easy, but checkmating requires skill. Chess is a real gentleman game. You tell your opponent, listen, this is a check. I'm going to, give, I'm going to cut your king. And then give him an opportunity to cut, cover, or move away. Then is it easy to win? Not really. But the more you practice, the more you will win. Let me give you a few positions where this is a checkmate. Look at this position. Now this rook is attacking the king. And this rook is taking care of the escape route. Now this is a checkmate. There are many positions where a game can end in a checkmate. Look at this position again. Now this is also a checkmate. Why? The king is under attack. The king cannot cut the queen because of the rook. This is a checkmate. You don't really need a rook. Even if you have a pawn, this is a checkmate. Why? All that the queen requires is a simple support. The king cannot go anywhere and it's a checkmate. You can even checkmate like this. You simply need two pawns to checkmate. Watch this. Now this is also a checkmate. How? The king cannot stay there. It cannot go here. This pawn will cut. It cannot go here. It cannot come here. So even two pawns is enough to give a checkmate. A pawn can deliver a checkmate. In case you have a rook here, this is also a checkmate. Watch. The king cannot go here. The king cannot come up. The king cannot go here. There is a check on the line and there is no pieces to cover. So it's a checkmate. Even two bishops can give a checkmate. So there is a lot of ways of delivering a checkmate. Now that will give you an idea. Looking at this portion will give an idea that the less number of pieces the opponent king has, it's easy to deliver a check. Why? When he's all alone, he cannot cut. He cannot cover. The only thing he can do is 
run away if you if you stop the escape route then you finish the game so you might ask me a question does all game end when only there's a black king not really expert players will learn how to checkmate even with opponent pieces around but as you begin the game my simple advice is there are 15 players supporting the king go chop all the fellows and once you finish them it's very very easy to deliver a checkmate there are a lot of checkmating patterns how to checkmate with a single queen how to checkmate with a double rook how to checkmate with a single rook we will learn all this in the coming episodes now I'm sure watching this episode you would have learned what is a check what are the three ways of getting out of a check and what is a check mate dear viewers you're all most ready to play the game of chess may i request you to take your chess board off try finding somebody make them teach them the movement of pieces and start to play this royal game of chess now we know how to arrange the board how to name the pieces and how each piece moves and we also know what is a check and what are the three ways of getting out of check the concept of checkmate now uh, it's very simple that you have to eliminate your opponent pieces to win the game so it's a it's a it's a war game you start go around chopping your opponent keys pieces and the ultimate idea is to capture the king so you don't cut the king you give a check and your opponent should not be in a position to either cut cover or move away so that gives you a very very clear idea that i should cut the opponent pieces now chess is also for businessman chess when you do learn chess you do business properly do everything you do trading properly why each piece has a different function a different movement so we have an imaginary points for chess pieces a pawn has got an imaginary value of 1 point you don't count points in chess board just to give you an idea a pawn value of a pawn is 1 a value of a bishop is 3 pawns is 3 points a value of a knight is again 3 pawns a value of a rook is 5 pawns it's 5 points and the value of a queen is 9 and they do not trade the king why the king is the game you don't trade the king so each piece has got an imaginary value to repeat the value of a pawn is 1 the value of a bishop is 3 the value of a knight is 3 the value of a rook is 5 and the value of the queen is 9 knowing that whenever you are trading you be very careful look here a pawn moves up the pawn comes up he cuts the pawn and the queen cuts it back now what has happened each of them got a single pawn one pawn so it's equal but say if the knight comes up look here 1 2 3 the knight comes up and what is he trying to do he's going to cut your queen you simply move the pawn up and say okay let him cut the queen i will cut the knight this is not right why 1 2 3 a queen is lost but in the bargain you take only a knight you take 3 for 9 this is a bad trade so you should be very very careful when you cut how much are you cutting and when you lose how much are you losing you should be very very careful that you don't lose pieces every pawn is a gold mine a pawn that reaches the last rank will become a queen so the more number of pieces you lose it's almost obvious that you lose the game so you should be careful when you play the game that you don't lose your pieces every time when your opponent makes a move look think am i losing something is all my pieces safe what will my opponent do 
It's very, very important question in chess. I make a move. When he makes the move, why does he make that move? Is he attacking any of my pieces? Is all my pieces safe? Then carry out your plan. Have a plan. Always have a plan. Every move that you make should have a plan. Look here. In this particular game, white, white plays here and black plays here. White plays here, black has no plan at all, he simply moves the pawn here. Now watch carefully, can you finish the game? Yes, of course. White simply goes like a bishop, queen goes like a bishop and he gives a check. Now here, the queen, the king, no piece can cut, pawn doesn't cut, it cuts diagonally. No piece can cover, the knight cannot cover, the bishop cannot cover, the king cannot move anywhere, the game is over. Similarly, a very simple position is there, where many games are lost like this. White plays the pawn, black replies like this. White plays the bishop like this, black plays the bishop. White queen comes here, they think they are attacking the pawn, so they move the knight up, thinking if he cuts the pawn, I will cut the queen back. They are very smart, but alas, they leave this pawn and the game is gone. The king is under check, he cannot cut because of the bishop, he cannot cover, he cannot move away. See, the checkmate can happen many ways, even with so many pieces around. You can still lose the game. But it's nice to keep on cutting your opponent piece one by one and then finish the game. So dear viewers, chess is easy and chess is interesting. Now you know how to play the game of chess. But watch carefully that when you play the game of chess, every move counts. Chess develops logical thinking. Why should I make the move? What move should I make? You make hundreds of decisions when you play the game of chess. So chess naturally develops the decision making skills of a kid. So you will every time your perception is improved, you look at, okay, when I make a move, there's a lot of planning. Okay, I, why do I make this pawn, pawn move up? Okay, I want to bring my pieces out. See, chess is a battle between two armies, you have to bring out all your pieces. So you make way for the bishop. If he makes here, if he moves the knight here, what is he doing? Your perception has developed. Your ability to see the threat is developed. Okay, he's going to cut the pawn. Then you have a defense mechanism. I move my knight up. Now what I'm doing? I'm using my thinking. If I cut the pawn, I will cut it knight. Cut it back. You see? Every move as a plan, a lot of thinking takes place, a strategy is there. So, enjoy playing chess. When you play the game, try to move the pawn in front of the queen or the king. This will help you to develop your pieces. Try cutting your opponent pieces. Bring out all your pieces. And remember, the king is the game. You should have a single plan. I should go and cut, capture the opponent king. So that's the strategy and that's a plan and that's the goal. Make the winning move. Keep your eyes fixed on opponent king, ensuring your king's safety. So you make the winning move by start to play the game of chess. This is Ebenezer saying bye from winning moves. Mm -hmm.